In the wake of the Internet of Things and the increasing use of mobile communication systems, embedded systems are becoming part of global IT interconnectivity. They are used in various fields, from switches and routers to industrial central control systems right through to cars. The increasingly intelligent connectivity and the exchange of information between these systems raises new questions of security. The complex interplay of the most modern technology must not only be ensured, but also be harnessed safely. We have more than 8 billion connected devices already today. Now you hear all these great predictions, yeah, this will move up to 20, 25 billions in the next five years. And if you imagine today's every TV which is shipped, half of them have already a connection to the internet. So every device in the future will have somehow a connection to the connected society. And this makes security and safety so crucial for us. The security standards will need to grow because in the past one had relied on embedded systems that were proprietary digital protocols. Now the embedded systems will also become part of the Internet of Things, become cyber physical systems. And therefore, great attention must be paid to the issue of security. I mean, imagine your smart home. Would you mind if, your, if pictures of your children would appear somewhere in the Internet? I think this is, pro this is really crucial yeah, to protect our privacy, protect transactions and prote protect also highly confidential information. It starts with a policy within the company, with responsibilities, with processes that are experienced. This must be implemented in hardware and software development. It goes beyond organizational measures, which also play a large role. We mustn't think only of technical measures here in this context. In this respect, a lot lies ahead of us, but a whole lot has already happened. Hello. As you've just heard, innovations are not only important in security. Exhibitors from around the world present a multitude of embedded solutions and products, all based around central themes like automation, industrial electronics, and the Internet of Things. Fraunhofer IPMS is presenting groundbreaking technology, Li-Fi, an optical transmission technology enables the secure exchange of very large data amounts up to 12.5 gigabit and thus fulfills the high real-time characteristics of automation technology. Security is itself already a given from the system because it is clearly defined where the data is going. So in principle you can do away with many large encrypting things. That means in turn it's the choice of the data transfer for security applications. Until now it was expensive to combine measuring technology from non-original parts manufacturers with existing applications, reliable networks and energy saving operation. With the micro PMP platform, linear technology is bringing the solution onto the market. Self-configuring activators detect and identify the connected periphery. It features the networking technology from linear together with a very flexible software platform that allows you to connect all kinds of wireless sensors and activators and build smart systems in minutes. TQ Systems optimizes the application possibilities of touchpads. Through a haptic feedback, operating errors can be excluded in the future. Especially in sensitive areas, for example in the medical field or for visually impaired people, the touch technology of the electronic service provider will be a great help. It's a combination of touch technology in the classical form and an additional power intake which operates in the Z-axis, so I've got three coordinates instead of two. Thus, the contact pressure can be evaluated, but the same mechanism can also give feedback as if a real button were pressed. Omron is launching the face and gesture recognition module Human Vision Component onto the market. It captures a person's face, hands and body. In addition, it can also assess frame of mind, facial expression and intensity of gaze and, for example, identify a possible threat. I'm standing here with Suhel from Maxim Integrated and we're just about to take a peek at what decentralized control might look like in the next generation of factories. Applications are getting smaller and smaller, and as this one's name might suggest, it's called the Pocket I.O., it can actually fit in your shirt pocket. So tell me, Suhal, why is size so important? 
Well, controllers are getting more and more decentralized and they have to fit into existing assembly lines. So we are moving away from a world of central control to very decentralized control, controlling individual assembly lines. Therefore, we need not only small controllers, but also powerful and extremely power and heat efficient so we can put them in fanless type of enclosures. So, what can this little thing do? This little thing is very capable. It has about 30 I.O. channels and it can run practically an entire assembly line. Let me show you how. Perfect. Okay, so here we have a representation of a digital factory that tests full-size soccer balls. So the full factory is controlled by an iPad and it is fully automatic in which multitude of sensors talk with a decentralized controller, the pocket eye. And now it will print the name on underneath the Maxim logo and the ball is then delivered to the Patrick. customer. It's an inkjet printer and there is an ETV. Oh wow, great. And that's that's fantastic. ETV. Thank you, Suhel. It was a real pleasure talking with you. It was a pleasure too. Bye-bye. Well, that's it for today's Planet E broadcast. But don't worry, tomorrow we'll dive right back into the world of electronics. It'll be very exciting to the very end. In our last edition of ETV, we'll find out if a Guinness World Record can be broken and how future generations learn about the world of digitalization through play. I bet you're wondering what all of these tiny components are in front of me, but you're just going to have to wait until tomorrow for an answer. In the meantime, I'm going to see what happens when I put this here. See you tomorrow on ETV.